you work hard in your business. On the Profit by Design podcast, we ask the big question. What has your business done for you lately? Hi, I'm Dr. Sabrina Starling. I'm the business psychologist, the author of the Four Week Vacation and the How to Hire the Best series, as well as the founder of Tap the Potential, where we coach entrepreneurs like you to design sustainably profitable businesses that give you more time for what matters most and more money in your bank account than ever. Because after all, we believe work supports life, not the other way around. Weekly on the Profit by Design podcast, we bring you tips, tools, and strategies from our own experiences and from the experiences of our guests who are entrepreneurial thought leaders and real life entrepreneurs, all to support you in making intentionally profitable and sustainable business decisions to live the lifestyle you desire. Hey, Profit Designers, I'm pulling this together in June. You're going to be listening to this in early August, just as I'm coming back from my four-week vacation. I found some really fun tips from a variety of experts on taking a four-week vacation. I found this in our Google Drive, and this was too good to not reshare again. We collected these tips during the launch of the four-week vacation book, and I think it just really summarizes, as you listen to these tips, it just really summarizes some of the key things you need to put in place and think about to get ready for the four-week vacation. And the best thing is that none of these tips are hard to execute. They're all very simple to execute. So enjoy. Let's kick this off with a tip from David Jennings, author of Systemology. Get very clear on that core product or service that your business is delivering. Just focus on one and identify the systems required to make that happen and then get your team to help build those systems because you want to extract yourself out of the process. Hey, it's Mike McGallow. It's here, author of Clockwork, Prop First, and other business books. I want to tell you something about a four-week vacation, perhaps a tip you've never heard before. You know why a four-week vacation is so important? It's not about your vacation. It's about the business getting a vacation from you. Frame it like that, and you'll discover that in your absence, the business and the people who are running the business in your absence are making the business better because they can't depend on you. Your business needs a vacation from you. Hi, I'm John Jans with Duct Tape Marketing and also the author of The Ultimate Marketing Engine. My tip for your four-week vacation is to create, first and foremost, a functional organization chart for your business. I don't care how many people you have in your business. You have hundreds of functions in your business. Create boxes. Don't worry about the fact that you don't have somebody to put in that box. Create boxes and then go to work on prioritizing how to get that function done, how to delegate it, maybe how to bring somebody in, how to give somebody some training, how to create processes and replace yourself, because you're in all those boxes now, replace yourself in those boxes with processes. And before you know it, your business will be running without you. And that's what it's going to take for you to get away for 30 days. Hey folks, Corey Kupfer here with my best tip on how you take that full week vacation. And to me, it goes back to even how I took a day vacation in the early time, because it's got to be a mindset shift. So listen, as a lawyer and as a deal maker and as an author and all these things, I was always important to my business, right? You know, my clients depended upon me and it was so hard to get away. So the first thing I had to do and the first thing I encourage you to do, whether it's a day, a week or four weeks, is to use this mantra, which I used, which was, Corey, you're not that important. All right. And that's not a slight on me. Trust me. I know my ability. I provide great products and services to, to people. But if I built my business the right way, or I have that attitude that has to have me build my business the right way, all right, where I'm depending upon team, I'm creating systems, I'm building something that's not relied upon me, then that mindset shift of saying, Corey, you're not that important is what got me there from day one and continues to be through. So use it. I'm Donna Lyons. And my tip for taking a four week vacation is to work on your repeatable systems in your business and test them before you go on your vacation so you feel confident about it. Make yourself replaceable in your business and enjoy it. 
Hi, this is Dov Baron of DovBaron.com. I want to give you my four-week vacation tip. Here it is. Turn off the bloody phone. Not just turn off the phone, but let me just give you a minute. I want you to think about something you did when you were a child that brought you joy. What if you did that as an adult? What if you took a Tonka truck on holiday with you and you sat on the beach and played in the sand with your Tonka truck? What if you bought a skipping rope and you skipped? What if you drew again? What if you wrote poetry again? What if you allowed yourself to tap into that child part of yourself during your four weeks off? I wonder how much more creative you'd be. I wonder how much more innovative you would be. I wonder how much more you would transform your business by tapping into that essential child lives inside of you that's never gone away, that really recognizes beauty because that kid is deeply curious. So stay curious, my friends. Stay curious and your life will transform. I'm Erin Longmoon, the founder and CEO of Zephyr Recruiting. And my four-week vacation tip is build yourself a team of A players who you can trust to run the show while you go to Bali. Next up, a tip from John K. Bates, founder of Executive Speaking Success. Right, here's my best tip for a four-week vacation. Listen to Dr. Sabrina. Put that date in your calendar and then make it happen. The thing that I see with people who actually do those three things is that not only do they get to take a fabulous four-week vacation, they make their business vastly better and vastly more unbreakable. Hello, hello. My name is Kim Addis. I'm the president and founder of Frame of Mind Coaching. And I want to talk to you today about what you need to do to figure out how to take a four-week vacation. Four weeks off work. Can you imagine that? Well, I'll tell you this. The first thing you need to do is make a decision. You need to say, okay, I'm ready to go. I want to make a decision. I want to go on a four-week vacation. And then you want to sit for a minute and ask yourself, why does that make me feel uncomfortable? What are all the reasons that mm, maybe I don't think it's such a good idea and write them down. And I want you to know that all those reasons stem from your beliefs and I want you to examine them very carefully. But at the end of the day, I want you to address every single one of those beliefs and then go back to your initial decision to go and say, okay, these are the reasons that I'm uncomfortable. Let me build a plan. Let me build a strategy to help me overcome this discomfort. And then pack your bag, get on that trip. Four-week vacation, how awesome would it be to have a four-week vacation? This is Lisa Curly Malice of Impactive Strategies, and I'm here to tell you why I want to take my four-week vacation. Because my brain needs a break. Not gonna lie, there are times where I just feel like it's going, and even though I can do some things to reset it throughout the time, I just need time to completely unplug and move away. So that's why I say take your four-week vacation. And here's a tip from Raymond Ray, founder of Smart Hustle. If you want to take a four-week vacation and like, get away and watch Netflix all day, go to the Caribbean, I don't care however you define vacation, there's probably two things you need to do. One, you need to be very clear on what are the systems and processes that run your business. I've done it. You can do it. And number two, you need to make sure you have the right team and especially a team who can run that system and process for you while you're away. If you do that, you will be taking a four-week vacation. Our final tip comes from Tina Smith, founder of Creative LLC. Here is my best tip for taking a four-week vacation. Schedule it. <laughs> That's the number one thing I can tell you to do it. It will be scary and things will go wrong, but schedule a day first, then two if you have to, and schedule yourself a week away where you don't touch anything and let the world fall apart. I assure you it will actually. It's more scary than you think, but it turns out to be great in the end. So my biggest tip for you is if you want to start at taking a four-week vacation from your business, then you need to put it on your calendar. What great tips. 
for taking a four-week vacation. Are you ready to make sure that your four-week vacation is happening? Next summer, you could be on a four-week vacation. And if that feels like it's a little too much for you, you could be doing a extended four-week vacation test next summer. Maybe you're doing two weeks off fully unplugged or three weeks off fully unplugged. Either way, if you want next summer to be more fun and life-giving, then make the four-week vacation pledge. Head on over to tapthepotential.com forward slash pledge. Thank you for spending time with me today. Join me in our Tap the Potential Mighty Networks community at tapthepotential.com forward slash group. Share your aha moments from today's episode, ask me questions, and join in on the fun with your fellow entrepreneurs on the journey to designing sustainably profitable businesses that give you more time for what matters most and more money in your bank account than ever. Isn't it time you take your life back? And finally, share today's episode with a friend if you know a friend who would enjoy it. This is real life business. Keep your chin up, keep moving forward. You got this.